Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Varsha Devindran. I'm here today to share a great news with you that our channel reached 200 subscribers and I'm so happy. I know it is not so easy to get 200 people to see your videos. So I'm so happy today. So today onwards, I'm going to make the videos in English because I have many friends who are not Malayalis and who can't understand Malayalam and they encourage my artworks a lot so I want everyone to understand so that's why I'm making the videos in English and um, today I'm going to make a Thanksgiving video by making a, a dot painting tutorial for you and this is very beginner friendly and easy for everyone and you can try it out and let's begin the video for this artwork I am using 20 by 25 inch stretched canvas. First I am going to paint the entire canvas using black acrylic paint. So this step you have to do it very neatly. And I am also going to paint the edges of the canvas. So it will look uh, beautiful when you finish your artwork. For dot painting, you want the paint not to be too thick and not to be too thin. So for that, I am adding acrylic gloss medium to my paint to get into a desired consistency. So uh, each paint is with different consistency. So depending on which paint you are using, just add a gloss medium or even you can use water to make it into your desired consistency. After dry the canvas, now we are going to draw the outline of our artwork. So for that I am using white watercolor pencil. What is the benefit of using white watercolor pencil is you can wipe it off using a wet tissue after finishing your artwork so it won't look messy. So here I am drawing three circles using the compass and pencil. Then I am drawing the butterfly at the center of the circle. So this will be enough for you to finish your artwork this work as a guideline for you so everyone know how to draw a butterfly so it is easy for everyone even for a beginner to do this artwork this what artwork I'm mainly focusing for the beginners now I wipe the unwanted uh, lines using a wet cotton q-tip for dotting I'm using this uh, three types of dotting tools which is available in Amazon and if you want to do without these dotting tools uh, please comment below I will do a separate video for that using the common things you can find at your home we can do the dotting so if you want please let me know so I'll do a separate video for that and now we are going to do the outline of the uh, butterfly using the white acrylic paint and the smallest dotting tool.
To paint the center of the butterfly, I am using the dark brown and the light brown. For painting the butterfly, I am using orange and different shades of blue. So uh, I start with uh, orange color. I put four dots on the wings of the butterfly. Then I am uh, putting small dots around the orange with the small dotting tool. Actually you can play with your dotting tool and your acrylic paint as much as you want. It's up to you which color you want to give to your artwork. It's actually a beautiful and a very relaxing experience that you can experiment with any colors, any tools you want. Now I use a little bit bigger dotting tool and I am using the darkest blue which I have and I am putting the dots around the uh, small um, white dots. So like this I am going to paint the entire wings of the butterfly. Uh, it's better you make different shades of colors uh, whichever you want beforehand so it will be very helpful and useful to paint with different shades actually in dot painting different shades play a very important role so as much as you want you can make your own shades Then I am using the next bigger dotting tool and the lighter shade of blue to do the next layer of the wing. It is very important to clean your dotting tool after using each color, using a wet tissue. Now I am using different dotting tools and different shades of blue and orange to color the wings of the butterfly.
Now I paint the outer circles using different shades of red. To make different shades, you can add white and black colors to the color you want. To make lighter shades, add white color little by little and you will get the different lighter shades. To make darker shades, add black color little by little. You can store your colors you made in a plastic container. As I mentioned before, you can add water or gloss medium to get the desired consistency for your paint. Giving different shades of red gives a gradient from light to dark and from dark to light. In between, I am using white dots. These white dots actually gives a beautiful effect to your painting. In this artwork, I am not using any complex patterns which you can commonly see in the dot paintings and dot mandala paintings because I want this to be beginner friendly and I want each and every one of you to try this. If you do this artwork, please send me your artwork in the Instagram or email me. I will share your artwork in the social media like FB, Insta and YouTube. And this will be an encouragement for me as well. So I want to help everyone who want to come out of the stress and anxiety and depression, whatever difficulties you are facing. The art will actually help you to come out of this. For this dot painting is a true healer so please do try this out. Towards the end I am giving smaller dots and I am using different shades of red. Actually, I am just experimenting as I want. You can also experiment with different shades which you have.
see how beautiful this artwork came out i hope everyone like this and will try this artwork so if you're trying this please send this to me and that's it thanks for watching now we will see in the next video thank you once again bye bye